dangles a bit today. Hello guys, hope you're all well. Um, the weather is going to be gorgeous over the Easter weekend. We're in for 25 degrees somewhere, so isn't that fab? Probably not enough. Probably not here, yeah, yeah. But never mind. Um, we're painting this gorgeous hair today. Behind me are some of the paintings that we've painted previously. The gorgeous chick that we did on Tuesday. What we've decided to do, guys, is we're going to do one parent and child on a Tuesday and then we're going to do an adult one, which I think is going to start a little bit later than this, probably about six o'clock, seven o'clock, um, that we can drink wine in, because we thought that was so much more fun last week, didn't we, Amber? Yeah. Yeah, we really enjoyed the adult one last week, which was the rather attractive naked man. Um, don't know what we're going to paint next week for the, um, the adult one, but something with a more adult theme, something a little bit more tricky, um, which you need to have a glass of wine to do. Okay, what we need today, we're painting the gorgeous Easter hair. He's fab, isn't he? I love his eyes in particular, so we're going to take a lot of attention on his eyes. We're going to start off getting the background in, and then we're going to sketch, well actually we'll sketch him in, get the background in, and then we'll concentrate, we're getting his fur on, and then we're going to spend a lot of time on the eyes. The eyes are the most important thing on this painting. Um, sorry, can I just check that everyone has sound? Because we've got, I think, yeah, we've got one or two people saying they've not got sound. Um, so can you just let us know if you've got sound? Because if, if everyone else has, then it's probably a problem on their end. And if not, it's yeah. on our end. <laughs> yeah. so. Thumbs up if you can hear us. No one will answer if they can't hear us, so it doesn't matter. So thumbs up if you can hear us, that would be good. Have we got any thumbs up, Amber? Not yet, but... No one can hear us. Yeah, no, hold on, yeah, we've got sound, yeah, that's fine. So I think it's okay. probably a problem on your end if you can't, if you can't hear us. Um, but if you can't hear us, you won't know that. Yes. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Right, what you need for today's painting is I've got two blues, two yellows, white, black, and red. Um, Bring that a little bit closer, just over here, and then everyone get a good look. I should have two reds, so I'm gonna get the other red. Just so that you can see, these are the, the most paintings you need, the most paints you're gonna need. Sorry, show them again, just because I'm coming. Okay. Okay, so you've got two blues, two reds, two yellows, white and black. But if you just have one yellow, one blue, that is also fine. Yeah, you've got one blue, one red, one yellow. You can still make most colours. Um, but it's just if you want the, the Premier Pack, which we're selling, you'll get all, of, all six colours, which makes it... Uh, which makes it, makes it that you can make any colour you want then. Water, three brushes. Big brush. Big brush, middle brush, little brush. So you need all three brushes, your paints, your water, and something to paint on. And most importantly, a paint t-shirt. You don't want to get paint on your clothes, guys, so anything will do to cover up an apron, an old shirt like I have, anything would be great. I feel like a professional with this new tripod. Yes, we have a new tripod, which I don't know if it's, is it wobbling or is it... No, we're good. good. It's even got a handle. Oh, that's cool. Pretty exciting. Okay, can you turn it round? Can you get different angles? Oh, cool. That's really good. And very smooth. Yeah, cool. Better cool. than the Velcro. Okay, right, so we've got everything we need. We'll get ready to go then. Oh, I'll tell you what I do need. Amber, could you pass me a cloth or something? I need a cloth. Yes. In case I need to paint over. No, there'll, there'll be one down there. An old cloth just to clean my brushes. Yeah. That'll do. Thank you. 
I prefer an old bit of rag, but you could use kitchen roll or of course toilet paper if you can get hold of it. Oh, I've actually got a little cup of tea, guys, because I can't start on the wine, it's too early. 76 people watching right now, so that's good. Hope you're all painting or at least drawing. Anything or, arty is yeah, always anything, good. anything, guys. If you haven't got paints, just get going with anything. You can do it with colour pencils, you can do it with crayons. You could use um, anything. <coughs> you could just sketch it. Um, anyways, as long as you've got everything, just give it a go. I don't know how many children we've got painting today. I hope we've got some. We've got a couple of kids. I've seen that already. We've if got... it gets too much, um, stop. And we're going to leave this on Facebook for a couple of days. And then we're going to put it on YouTube with all our other ones. So all of the classes that we've done so far are on YouTube now. Well, not all of them. The Flamingo and the... Yeah, the Flamingo is not because we had issues oh, with the yeah, music. Yeah, we had issues with the music for the Flamingo. As you know, I nearly went to prison. But I didn't. I'm still here to tell the tale. Okay, little brush. Wet your little brush. Dry your little brush. I want you to sketch this in, in yellow. I'm going to sketch it in in black today. I'm going to do it in black so that you can see what I'm doing. What colour is everyone else doing? Everyone else is doing it in yellow. Yellow, guys. I'll bring this a bit closer so you can see what's going on. Okay, we're going to do it very simply, very easily. Basically, it's better if I, pay, if I stand on this side now, isn't it? We're going to paint in his head. I want you to start about a third of the way down. So we're back here. And we're just going to do a big egg shape, like that. Oh, we've got, I'll give some shout outs of who's watching. We've got, I'll go to the top and try and get everyone. Big egg shape. There we go. And then we've got a shape like that. We've got James, Chloe and Katie and watching. Like Elizabeth and Ryan. Elliot, who's seven years old, is on painting today. Sarah and her daughter Lauren, who's nine. Grace and Sophie, who are 10 and 12. Isabella, aged eight. So lots of kids painting along with us today, which is great. Okay, so you've got your egg shape and then you've got two marks like this and two marks like that. Then we're going to sketch in his ears. I want one ear shooting off there. We give him really big ears, guys. And the other ear is going to shoot off that way. And again, this is in yellow, you guys. Everyone else painting at home, do this in yellow if you can because then it'll be easier to cover. Mum's just doing it in black so you can... Um, so that you can see it clearly. Okay. Oh, we've got Robin painting today, I believe. Oh, Robin. Hello, Robin. I'm just having a swig of tea, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Tea, oh, sure. Okay, right. I'm going to let that just go. Are you all up to speed? Thumbs up. We've got, I'll do some more shout outs whilst everyone's catching up. We've got Amy, age 12, and Erin, age 8, from Newcastle. We've got Isla, who's 8, and Kieran, who's 7. Callum, age 11, and Rosie, 9. Jessica and Al Olivia from Margate, and Annabelle, who's 13. So we've got loads of, loads loads of, of people kids. watching. Have we got any adults doing this one? That's what's good about this one. It's a bit more of a yes. The one all on Tuesday. Ages. The one on Tuesday was very child orientated. This one is is more for any age group. It's a little bit trickier, um, but just do your best, guys. Right, I'm going to sketch in the ears. So on on each side of the line. Can you see that? Okay. Yep. Yeah, perfect. We're going to do on this side, we're going to go like this. Loopy like that. Oh, how would you describe that? Well, it's like a wiggly line. 
And when starting thinner, getting bigger and then getting slightly thinner again. So just do two wiggly lines, guys. Doesn't really matter. We just want them big. We want them to be very um, exuberant, I think is the word I'm looking for. He's well, a hippie, happy hair. Right, this one. What makes him a hippie? I think all hairs are hippies. There. So narrower at the ends. I should have made that a little bit narrower there. I'm going to come in a bit like that. I'll sort it when I come to do it. So that's the basic hair almost done, guys. Dead easy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let people catch up. And remember guys, your outline's in yellow. For anyone who might be joining a bit late, do it in yellow if possible, or a lighter color, just so it blends in easier with the background. Now we're gonna give them rather large eyes, guys. What I'm gonna do is, before I do his eyes, I'm gonna do this line from just under his ears, coming down and round. Uh, if anyone is way behind at any point or anything like that as well, just let us know because we can slow down for you as well. Harder to gauge when, uh, gauge when we're, obviously not face to face. Eighty people watching. Cool. Now, if you're enjoying it, do be mindful to tell your friends. If you're not enjoying it, don't tell them. <laughs> Doing there. I'm going to just do two big loops here, like that. I've heard these described as all sorts of things, some of which I'm not going to mention now. <laughs> it's okay if you've done black lines, you'll definitely be able to go over it. It's just um, We've got some people who have done them in black by oh. accident, but that is no problem. You can't. Yeah, don't you will, worry about if, it. You will be able to go over it, so don't don't give up. Don't worry. Some of these lines we want you to be able to see anyway. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it there, Mum. Okay. Sorry, just we've, we've raced ahead. Zoomed on. This is the tricky bit, guys. Once this bit is done, it's all pins, plain sailing. Guys, we have got a, um, a donations page if you want to donate any money. Doesn't matter how much, just a little bit would do. You don't, it doesn't matter if you don't. But, um, yeah, it would be good if you did. I did used to work and do this in clubs and pubs, but because they're all shut, I can't now. And when I get back up and running, I'm expecting you all come to pubs and clubs to see me. <laughs> that would be good. Okay. I'm going to press on with his eyes. We're just sketching him in now. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look great, because we're going to sort it all out in a minute. We're going to get the background on. I'm going to just sketch him where his eyes are going to go, big eyes, just like that, just to start with. So just two big circles. There. And we'll sort them all out in a minute. I'll just bring us a little bit closer. Yeah, basic, basic, that's the basic shape of them. I 
I'm coming a little bit in under his eyes and around and out round his, um, I don't know what you call them. I wonder what you call them. Jowls. Cheeks. His jowls. Oh, the jowls? I don't know if the jowls are a bit high for jowls. Aren't jowls sort of underneath on these jowls? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not um, well versed in Can you see me on there or at the minute or not? Just We've got a close thing. It's a good job because I was pointing to my jowls. Not a pretty sight, guys. You don't want to see my jowls. Um, yeah, I don't think they're jowls. I think they're more... Anyway, someone might know. There might be someone watching who knows all about hairs. They could let us know what they're called. I never know I'm what these are called. I'm just going to go in through there because I can see the cat eating a... Um... Elastic band. Okay. I'm just gonna get that out of my mouth. Right, guys, we're gonna start off, we're gonna get our background in now. I'm getting my big brush. I've saved her. Wait, just wait there. I think uh, we'll give it just a couple more minutes for people to catch up because it is okay. a bit tricky, uh, this bit. We've got. Um, Zachary age six painting today whilst his baby brother has some sensory painting. Um, Alec age eight is loving it apparently. We've got um, some questions about the paint packs. Um, we do post them if you'd like one, so please get in touch with our with our page. We'll also deliver them if, they, if you're sort of local enough to us. And you can also collect them from our house if you're super local for less less money as well so that's always yeah, good five pounds if you pick it up guys because no postage um and then we've had someone else say i hope you still do online classes for kids during school holidays when lockdown is over because it's been great and i think that is definitely something we've discussed yes we are going to continue with the um we are going to continue with the sessions less frequently um, but yeah we sort of wish we'd had an adult one booked for this week but we haven't now it's all a bit late um but next week definitely we are going to do uh, either Thursday or Friday night an adult one. Two in the week again and an adult one on the Thursday or Friday night. Just during the lockdown, won't be that many in real life. I think once we get back to normal, we might do once, one a month for adults and one a month for children. Do you want to pull back and we'll do the background? Yeah, is everyone ready? If, no one's, if someone's really struggling, put a sad face, but I assume everyone will be ready to go now. Right, what we're going to do guys is we need to do a bit of colour mixing now, um, but we'll start off with a bit of our dark blue and I'm just going to use a tiny touch of black. I want it to be quite dark and we're starting down in this corner, just splodging it on. Big brush, get it all on. And down in this corner as well. Sorry, just move the... There we are. So yeah, quite a dark blue. Not as dark as it looks on camera. It looks almost black on camera. Um, is it? Yeah, I don't know. It's just the lighting's a bit funny today, isn't it? But, um, is it? Let me have a look. We're we'll coming round to have a look, guys. Just because it's not so sunny today where we are. So yeah, just a little bit more blue than it appears on camera, but... Well, that's odd, isn't it? It looks blue in, in real life. I'll try and come in a bit, maybe. Come in a bit. That's a bit better, isn't it? Slightly. Anyway, dark blue, guys, in the bottom corner. Bottom corners. And just keep it there. We're not filling the whole thing in. Then we are going to get some yellow. I'm going to do this with a clean brush. When we get my middle brush, I'm going to move a bit of my lemon yellow. You just use whichever yellow you've got over here. I'm going to use a bit of my lighter blue. We get quite a bright green, almost a lime green, in fact. Lodge that on. Just above the blue, blending in a bit to the blue. 
I'm gonna go back to my big brush. Which is a bit dirty because of the blue, but that's okay. I want it to look like that. And I'm just blending that in up above there. Don't know, just a test. Yeah, that's a bit better, actually. Okay, good. So I'm sort of blending them in. I'm going back over the blue and just puffing it out. I want it to sort of blend. I don't want it to be a, a sudden transition into the other colours. I want it to sort of blend. Going in with a bit more yellow now. So it's sort of creating an ombre effect, isn't it? Yes, indeed. So all the hairdressers watching will know what I'm doing. Uh, we've been asked just to slow down a little bit if that's possible. Yes, of course. Let's get up to here. I just got over what we've done again. Then. Yeah. So basically, I've gone in with a dark blue and then I've made a green with the blue and the yellow. Quite a lot of blue for a darker green, then I've just blended a bit more yellow into it so it looks a bit lighter as it comes up. I'm going to go in really close to his face there. I don't want to be any white showing. This is one of those ones that already looks quite good to really? begin with. It's unusual. Normally, the paintings don't look very good and they all go through a point where they look absolutely ugly. Throw me another cloth over them. I don't know what I've done with it. I've mislaid it. Just an old shirt would do. Let's have a little look. Do you know I might have put them back in the studio. We're not working in the studio at the moment. We're working in our uh, sunroom. Bit of kitchen roll, darling? I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, yeah, I might have dropped it on the floor. Yes, I have. Have you got it? Yeah. Gosh, I'm getting old. I have been doing Joe Wicks. I did it this morning. I should be jumping around with energy, but you know, I am old. yellow now, hardly any green on there. Don't worry if you get over your hair in places, we can sort that out in a minute. anything to dry. There we go. I'm looking forward to seeing all the um, finished results. Oh yes. Now we haven't been putting them into uh, collages lately because that's Amber's job and she hasn't done it. It's harder than it looks. There's oh, loads, I'm loads sure of painting. Loads sure of painting. Yes, there's loads of paintings, guys. We do need to get them on. Even if we just get them on um, one at a time, Amber. Um, what, we post them each individually? Well, just on the same post. post. No, no, not post them individually, but just have them. Just have them all. Uh, just show them to people. Can, the, can people see them all? Yeah, because the people put them in the comments, so you can just look in the... Oh, you can look in the comments and see them, guys, yeah. 
but I can try, I'll try and put these ones in colour. Alright, and I'm going in here just with yellow. I'm still using my dirty brush, so I'm getting a bit of green. A bit of black going on there. You won't have if you if you did what I told you. Of course, if you just ignored what I was saying and used your blue, yep. Black. Black. You know what I mean. What are you doing there? Right. I'm just putting. I've put yellow up there, and then I'm just sort of going in with a bit of the mixed green that I made earlier, and just blending it a bit so it's not a. Uh, Harsh transition. Harsh transition, yes. Now I'm just going to mess on with it. I am just going to play around with it, guys. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of more blue in here and there. I'm going to put a bit of blue in there. I'm just playing. So guys, just do what you want. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. It can just look like anything. What we're trying to create is just the effect of a field or or something behind them. Just a bit of something going on. So I'm just blending it a bit, so I'm splodging it around. I've got my brush is quite dry and I am just messing around, guys. So just play on with it. There's no right or wrong. You can't do anything wrong. What I'm doing now is I'm painting the sides so that I can put it on the wall and not worry about framing it. I'm just getting in the rough colour that it is. Of course, if you're using a board, you won't have to do this. Or if you're using paper, you won't have to do it, will you? There we are. What's everyone using? Now I'm just going to, while it's still wet guys, I'm going to go over it with a bit of white, which is just going to dull it down a bit. And just mellow it around a bit. If you're happy with your background, don't bother doing this, it's just I wanted to. Up to you. If you're happy, leave it. I just want to mellow it a bit with a bit of white. If you haven't got much white, don't do it. We've got people. Oh, we've a couple of people asked to slow down. Okay. Got people painting on card. We've got paper and paint. Paper with watercolor. Guys, we're just painting. We've got someone on the back of wallpaper. Oh, fabulous! Now wallpaper is quite a good thing to paint on, especially lining paper. Fabulous and huge amounts of it, really cheap. So it doesn't matter what you do, you can just play on with it. I used to let the kids do that when they were little. I don't know if you remember, Ram, but... Yeah. In the garden, huge bits of lining paper. We've got a few people things. saying slow down, but just all she's doing is just blending the colours yeah, in the I'm background. Yeah, I'm just so. messing on with the background, guys. I'm not doing anything new. I'm just playing on with it. There we are. You can put a little bit of white in there if you want. I'm going to talk you through what I've done. It's just I had to do it while it was still wet. There you are. Yeah. Now it looks very different to the first one that I did because I had more colours with that one. I'm trying to stick to a limited palette because I know you lot haven't got that many colours. And what are you doing there? Just adding some extra yeah, burst of colour in. Yeah. Which you can do if you want to. You don't need to. And I'm going right up to his face. But I just want to do this while it's wet, guys. So just splodge on while it's wet. Different colours. Well, I'm saying different colours. Stick to your blue and your yellow and white. There 
here we are. So we started off Bottom. Then we went into yellow, we created a different shades going up. We wanted darker at the bottom and gradually getting lighter. Oh wow, we've got a lovely message from Hannah Biggs. It's a, it's a long message so we can read it properly afterwards. Um, but she's living in Sweden at the minute, she's, she is English though. And, um... Oh fabulous! She's asked if we could give her daughter Lila a mention and a big shout out to her 11 year old brother Theo who they've persuaded to join in. Hi guys. Oh, well done guys. I hope you're enjoying oh, it. Oh, and also Marilyn, their grandma, has been uh, invited to join in by them and she's, she's in isolation in Stockholm too. So keep well guys and I'm really pleased that people from all over are joining in with us. It's great. It's great that you're joining in together and making it a bit of a, um, a group session. That was what was so good about the adult session the other night is that we had loads of people joining in and they were sort of joining in together, if you know what I mean. I think some of them were joining in on Zoom. So they were all on Zoom doing that on a different, a different uh, vehicle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. They were watching it on one method of... So they were watching the video on Facebook and then they were all calling each other at the same time. That's all there is to it. Yeah, well, I don't know how to explain it, but um, that's what they were doing. So it's a very bright background, guys. Doesn't matter if yours isn't as bright. Doesn't matter if you've got more colour. I will eventually put a little bit more blue in the bottom of there. I'm just waiting. Actually, I'm going to do that now while it's still bright. And uh, guys, as well, once you finish with that, put some thumbs up in so we can sort of see where everyone's at. And next week, my plan is, over the weekend, to get my studio tidied up and we might actually work in my studio next week. And also, week. this weekend, we are putting together some packs for next week. So once we, once we, uh, the next, like, either today or tomorrow, we're going to put on the page what we plan on, um, what we plan on painting next week. So if you'd like a pack for that, give us a, um, give us a message and we'll sort one out for you because we deliver them on the Monday. So we need to know over the weekend. Now the packs you can use for any painting, but if you want to do a specific painting, we'll give you every colour that you actually need to make it perfect. Does that make sense or does that all confuse the issue? that's the background done um, if you're wondering what how much the packs are and what's in them if you just have a little scroll down our page we've got a massive post that just kind of fills you in on everything you need to know so have a look at that after this uh, after this stream if you if you're interested we've got a few thumbs up coming in so we'll just let people finish off with that and then... yeah and then we'll we'll catch up so he is looking quite good already I think and I quite like the background Lovely big eyes. And what we're going to do next is we're going to put in the shadows where he's darkest and then we'll go on to the lighter colours. I'm going to have a look and see what's happening. A lot of thumbs up coming in. Okay, good. Are you all ready to go then? I'm going to press on with um, our hair. What I'm going to do before I do anything is touch in around his ears. And what are you doing with that? Uh, it's just where I did it wrong. Oh, because you did it black, yeah. I'm sure other people didn't do it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, just because I did it in black, you won't have that going on, guys, I don't think. I'll touch that up again later. Okay, get your um, 
middle brush would be best. Wash it, dry it, and get some black. What we're going to do with the black is I want you to put some shading in just under his uh, cheeks. I'm going to call them cheeks. His jowls. Cheeks. <laughs> Bit of shading around there. I'm going to put some shading in his ears. We're going to go over this with other colours. So I want some shading where his ears are coming into his body. I'm going to put a bit of shading around there. It's tricky with this if you're working with other mediums because it's harder to build up uh, like oil pastels and things like that. So this is something you could potentially do after, sort of add some darker elements in if you're using something like pastels. Because, am I right with that? It would be hard to yes. uh, cover up black. So yeah, if you've got a different kind of medium where you're using watercolours or something like that, maybe add the shading in after you've got the kind of base colour on. Well, if you're using watercolours, you're doing the total opposite to what we're doing. Where using acrylics so we're going from dark to light if you're using watercolors the idea is to go from light to dark so it's totally opposite really which is quite tricky yeah i would use if you're using watercolors i would use them more in this method not in the correct method so i'd use them more like the way we're doing it the only thing is you're gonna have a problem going over them because they are quite transparent this is just in with a, a black colour, but a bit kind of watered down slightly. Just so we've just splodged in there, there, round his cheeks, a little bit down here, under there, under his little chin, and a bit in his ears. We will sort them all out later. Guys, you can't do anything wrong. This is only art, and it's only a hippie happy hair. So you can't do anything wrong. He's just a hair, and all hairs are different. They're like people. I think they've all got their own personality and their own their own little faces. So you can they? try and think about what your mom is like, what his personality or her personality is like. Well, we'll be Maybe able to tell a name. We'll be able to tell further down the further down. Now this one, what would you call him? Harold the Hare. Harold the Hare. Yeah. He looks a bit serious, doesn't he? He's yeah, very I intent. He's, I think he's, he's yeah. looking at something with great intensity. I think he's quite intelligent. That's what oh, I get. I don't know. I get that from him. Reminds me of my dog. She's not intelligent. Anyway, never mind. Are we all up to speed? Guys, we're going to make a bit of brown, so I need you all to be up to speed with me, and I'll, I'll talk you through how to make the brown. How are we doing? Any thumbs up? Not this second in time. Uh, give it a second. It's a bit of a delay, obviously. Yeah, we've got some thumbs up coming in now. You do. Okay. If you're really behind, drop a comment in so we can see. We're going to make a little bit of orange. I'm going to do this on my clean plate so that you can see. Just use the plate you've got if you've only got one. Right, yellow. Putting a bit of yellow here. Tiny bit of red. I'm going to make a lovely orange. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of black into my orange and then I'm going to look at the brown I've got I want a bit more red, I wanted a reddier brown so just keep adding the colours till you get it the colour you want a bit more yellow tiny bit more black tiny tiny bit of black yes that's more the colour that I wanted sort of a, a ready brown that's how I'm going to start him off so I'm just going to colour him in with this ready brown I'm going to go over the black that we've done and let it show through
Shannon Fisher says it's 8.43 in the morning where she is, so they're going to paint oh it later. Oh my goodness, that's too early to be painting. Where's she? She hasn't said. Um, and she says, thank you for sharing your wonderful talent with the world. That's very kind, isn't it? Yes. Very kind. Now we're just getting a thin coat of paint on, we're going to go in with different colours but I just want to get a thin coat of this brown everywhere. Um, Elaine Rodham's asked if she can use burnt umber for this part. Oh yes, perfect. Thin it out with a bit of yellow and keep it quite wet. Quite transparent at the moment, we're going to go in with other colours. What we're doing really is we're just getting a basic undercoat on. So like an underpainting and then we're going to um, go in with different colours and sort them all out. But yes, if you've got burnt umber, great. We've got some people who are still mixing their browns right now, so we'll hold it after this part so you can catch up if you're at that point. Oh yeah, well, I'll hold on. See, basically you're just making your brown. And just giving it a coat. Basically what we're doing is we're just getting an undercoat of paint on so that we've got it all coloured. There we are. Yeah, so just give it a basic all over colour in with your brown. You can see already that this is looking, it's got a bit of depth to it, which is what we want. This one's looking a bit grumpy, I think. I think this one's going to be a grumpy hair. He's an inquisitive hair, and I think this one's going to be a grumpy hair. Why is he grumpy? I don't know, I can just, I just think he is. It's, well, it would tell more with his eyes. It's the eyes that give them their character, I think. A window to the soul? Maybe. Do hairs have souls? Yes. I think so. So do you think we should have done a, an Easter bunny rather than a hair? I think this is an Easter bunny. It's just more of a, a cool Easter bunny mm. than the traditional. Yeah. More rustic Easter bunny. What should we do next week then? Any ideas, guys, what we should do? What should we do for the, the, uh, the parent and child one? What about... Something that isn't an animal. Oh yeah, I just realised, very animal themed, isn't it? Animals are good there, everyone likes animals. So you could do a beach scene, so we could all imagine we're on a tropical beach yeah. somewhere. Yes. Sunset, a lovely sunset on a beautiful beach. We could all escape to that, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Someone saying a daffodil, that would work. Oh, that would work. That would be perfect. Spring time, you could do a daffodil field. Yes. Daffodils for grandmas. We could do daffodils and everyone could give it to their grandmas. I think we've got a daffodil field one. Um, I think I did one for one of uh, the parties for some children a while ago that I did. Oh, so. that would be handy then. We wouldn't have to redo it. Ooh, moonlight reflecting on water. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, that would be lovely. Right. Are we all up to speed?
Any thumbs up, Amber, coming in? One. A single uh, thumbs up. Oh, we shall hold on. Oh, and then a sad face. Oh, we'll hold off then. Let's see how we're doing. I'm coming round to have a look. Oh, loads of thumbs up. Oh, some sad faces. Cherry blossom tree. We've done a cherry blossom tree. That's on, that's on YouTube, actually, if you'd like to give it a watch. Or a spider. Quite a Harriet movie. Smith still doing the ears. Lots of sad faces coming in. We'll just give it a minute then. Oh, yeah. Um, the guys, you don't need to worry. I'll wait. Oh, a dragon. Now we've had a few people say a dragon. What about a dragon on a sunset beach? <laughs> or a dragon on a sunset beach with a castle. And it would be like Bamborough Castle with a dragon. That's a good one. <laughs> a lot of angry faces coming in. Oh, we've not put a definition for that, so interpret that how you will. We've paused. Yes, we've paused while you all catch up, Kate Morton. Cheating. Gosh, if you don't hurry up, I'm going to have to have a drink of wine. This one, my baby and three year old sleep. Now that's ah, it. now that is that is tricky. But the wonderful thing about doing this is it's mindful. What you're going to think about while you're doing this is nothing, nothing but getting your hair right. You're not going to be worrying about the way the world is at the moment, you're not going to be stressing about what you're going to eat for dinner, you're just going to be concentrating on getting your hair right. What are we eating for dinner, Amber? No idea. No idea today. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Never mind. Never mind. We had our Tesco delivery on Tuesday. Yes, he While was we in were the middle filming. of the live stream. Yes, that was good. He was a good sport. He was a good sport. He didn't want to paint with us, but you know, he did enter into the... Uh, Thing a bit. So anyway, never mind. How are we doing? Yeah. Guys, I'm going to get my middle brush. I'm going to get some yellow. Murky yellow. Splodge it on. I'm trying to cover up my uh, black bits. You won't have them. So I'm just putting yellow here and there. Nothing drastic, just put yellow where you think. Blend it in with the brown. We want lots of colours going on here. Doesn't matter if it goes a bit wrong, we are going to sort it out in a minute. And you blend into those black lines so they're not so harsh. We're going to make some yellow ochre in a minute for his eyes, so I'm going to wait for you all to catch up to do that. Yes, just add some highlights of the yellow. So I'm just sort of sorting them out a bit, just making them look a bit... Yeah, different colours, you don't want to stick 
Okay, you don't want to just brown, you want different colours going on. Maybe slow down a little bit. She just pops a little bit of red in his chest. It's hard to see again. Let me try and come a bit closer. Ah, hold on now. Let me try this. That's better, actually. You can see the colours a lot clearer. There you go. So, yeah, she just put a tiny smidge of red in the centre of his chest there, after she put a bit of a yellow highlight on too. And what are you doing now? Just splodging bits of red on, just here and there. We're going to go over all of this again in a minute, so... Oh, hi Caroline. Yes, this is going to be saved onto the page um, for a couple of days, and then also after that it'll be put on YouTube, so you can watch it. At your Whenever leisure. You, like, and you can pause it and things if you're a bit behind, which is quite nice about having it not live. So I've just put bits of red in and bits of yellow in. Just here and there. Now we're going to make a bit of yellow ochre in a minute um, for his eyes. I'm going to wait for you to do that. So I'm going to wait for you all to catch up because we need to do that together, I think. I hope these are all going to be as good as the other ones you've done because the ones you've done have been great so far. I've loved looking at the pictures and I've tried to comment on all of them. Toy Story 3 in there, so I'm a bit jealous. Oh, do you I like do love one? Toy Story 3. It makes me cry though. Mm -hmm. They're not painting today, they're um, a bit sick of painting now. They've done a lot of it. Okay, how are we doing, guys, for the bits of red and bits of yellow? Just a bit more colour in them. Are we all up to speed? I want to get on with these eyes. Are we all up to speed? Come on. How are what, we doing? That Disney Plus is great. But the free trial to try and get us through this, uh, this week, difficult qu week of quarantine. We'll trial every single thing for free for a week and then, and then, we'll and then let, hopefully we'll by the end it'll be going. done. Yeah, Disney Plus is good. We like that. Right, how are we doing, eh? Have we got lots uh, of... Yeah, we got some thumbs up. We've had like one or two sad faces. Um, but the good thing about this is quite a quick bit, isn't it? Which is the, uh, the red and the yellow and stuff. Yeah, you're just splodging it on, guys. Doesn't have to be in the exact same places as you either. That's... No. That's important to... I do want know. everyone to be ready to do this. So if, guys, if you are just splodging red and yellow on, stop now and do this bit with me. So I want you to get your little brush and some black. And we're going to sketch in where his eyes are going to go. I'm going to have them coming down like that and down. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to come down. I want to keep them roughly the same size. I don't want them to be too odd. I think this eye is a bit bigger than that eye. So I'm going to go like that. And then I'm going to step back and have a look at what other... I might be a bit wrong. Oh, Elizabeth has said that you're brilliant at art. Oh, How old is Elizabeth? 
That is a nice compliment, isn't it? Elizabeth, I'm not brilliant at art. I'll tell you what I am enthusiastic about art. I love art. I'll just move us a little bit closer so you I'm get a better view at that. Just to have a look from a distance, which is a really good thing to do. So you can see what we've done there, just a little kind of a... It's almost like eyeliner, isn't it? You know when people have yes. a little bit of eyeliner on the, in a corner of their eye? But they're just, not level. Just My eyes little. aren't level. So is it fixing time? It is fixing time. So if you hold your brush, that's nearly level there. But the you bottom know what of it is? Eye I think that it? eye comes out further than that eye. I think that's what's throwing me a bit. Do you think? And I think the top isn't level. The top of the eyes. Oh, I think we are. It's a bit yeah. slant, I think. Oh, maybe just me, my eyes. Oh, yeah. Is that better? You've got evil, evil eyes. I've got a, an evil hair. Yeah, I'm, I am giving them goggly eyes because I quite like it. I don't know if I've made them a bit too big, guys, but, you know, you decide how goggly you want your eyes to be. <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm just putting a black bit on here, like that. We put black before, but I'm just... Going over a little going bit. Going over where I wanted to really show up. I'm going to have his nose there. So just you want you shouldn't have that in black yet. So you should be putting that on for the first time. Okay, how are we doing, guys? So you just outlined his cheeks, his nose, and the sides of his nose down the bridge. Yeah. Now don't worry about doing that. It's just I've made a mistake. We're going to make some yellow ochre in a minute, so get your eyes on. I want you to stop what you're doing. If you're yellow and redding, in the, just on his fur, right here, stop that. Get his eyes in. I need you to be working with me now. And we're going to make a little bit of yellow ochre. Because I've got no yellow ochre left, I think, now, have I? We're waiting for an order of new paints. Um, but the post is obviously being a bit slow at the minute. Yeah, the post is enough. very slow. Um, so if you're waiting for a delivery, guys, as I know Gina is, um, it's just taking forever with the Royal Mail. We've gone on to Hermes now, and that seems to be a bit quicker, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I think thing, the parcels are getting there quicker with Hermes, which we will be using in the future. And we do know now how to wrap everything up so it doesn't spill all over and ruin everything. That only happened once, but, you know, dear me. We are new to this, though, guys. We've never done this before. Okay, A, do you think we're up to speed? I want you to get a bit of yellow, a bit of red, not too much red. See, people who've been uh, doing all these classes will be oh, brilliant at making that. yellow ochre. The, we've done it so many times now. And that, so we've got like an orangey colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of the brown that we made before in there. A bit more yellow, maybe. Definitely. So then a bit more yellow. Yeah, you want it to be a different shade than his uh, fur, obviously, because otherwise it'll all just sort of blend into one, um, one colour. A bit more yellow. Hello, missus. So it is, it, what, it, what yellow ochre is, it's like, well, it's like a yellowy colour, like its name should be. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for yellow ochre. So you've got that sort of colour. It's like a beigey, orangey colour. Perhaps a, perhaps a little bit of white, not too much. Ooh. Right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to fill his eyes in with yellow ochre like this. I 
never like eyes when they don't have pupils in. It freaks no, me out. They look very vacant and uh, scary. Unpleasant, yeah. I think the problem is he's got one eye bigger than the other. I'll sort that in a minute. Okay, so we've got that in there. I want you to put some yellow down his nose. Oh, could you just uh, go over the colour mix again to create that yellow ochre? Yes, you want to make orange. I'll do it again. Quite a light orange, though. Have I got a palette knife? I have not have We did all the summer. I don't know where, where that order is either, to be honest. Mm, all the orders have gone awry, guys. It's all a bit of a mishmash. Um, I'd rather have a palette knife for this mixing. I'll just go and see if I can find one, guys. Um, so if you're stuck on that, it's a large, bit, a large amount of yellow, a bit of red in there to make a kind of light orangey colour, and then a little bit of that brown we made earlier into there to create sort of murky, murky yellow. someone attempting this in grayscale pencil that'll be interesting a sort of oh, more, lovely more realistic uh... okay bit of yellow tiny bit of red we want quite a uh, a light yellow a what a light orange because that one a bit more yellow in there And then I'm going to put, because I've got some brown, a bit of brown in. So it's like an orangey colour, a yellowy orange with a tiny bit of brown. If you haven't got brown left from before, a tiny bit of black. It's like a beigey, yellowy. Oh, Grace Winpenny suggested that we could uh, mi uh, do a sort of a YouTube video on how to mix different colours, people. Yeah, which would be handy at the moment because you can't get any colours. I'm having real trouble getting blue, which is odd. Because everyone's getting arty at home. Okay, we're just going to leave his eyes for now, guys. So once you get them in with the yellow ochre, just splodge all the yellow ochre into his eyes. He looks a bit demonic at this point. He does. Now, while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to get a bit of white. Are you all up to speed at this point? How are we doing for thumbs up? None right now. Okay. Um, apparently, Grace is doing her hair white from like the hair from Alice in Wonderland. That's very nice. Oh, lovely! Yeah, yeah, you, yes. I should have said that. You don't have to do them this colour. You can do them any colour. Do them pink if you want. Do them. But ooh, do anything. Guys, I'm just going to stick a bit of white on while he's still a wee bit <coughs> wet. <coughs> I'm just choking, but we're... Are you alright? <laughs> I'm going to come down there. Oh yeah, loads of thumbs up. In between his eyes. So this is just with white, guys, but it blends in with the colours. Yes. They're it's... still wet, that's what you want. You want it to sort of blend all together. Yes, you don't want it to be pure white that's going on. I'm going to put some white into his things that we're not sure what they're called. His cheeks. I'm going to have a little bit under his eye. It's a 
blending in quite nicely. I wanted to, I wanted to sort of blend, just about a bit of highlight here and there. He goes some in his ears. Mellow music today. We have to be very careful what we play, guys, because you can infringe on copyright laws and all sorts, which I didn't know. I'm learning loads doing this. <laughs> a little bit of light on his head and a bit swooping down his nose. And then I'm going to put a little bit on his nose there. It's interesting because normally you never really get to focus on your own painting when you're doing these classes. When you do them live, because you're sort of running around telling people out and yes. touching up their paintings, things like that. But with this, you get to sort of really focus on your own painting. Yeah. Oh, naughty cat in the background, sorry. Uh, start knocking things over in a minute, I'm sure. There we are. So just play on with your white, just you're just playing on with all these colours, guys, messing into colours and... in a round sort of manner and it will actually create the shape. I'll leave it there for a bit, let you all catch up. What's she seen? Perhaps we should do a cat. I think we featured our animals in every single video. Yeah, once you've caught up, pop a thumbs up in. And if you've finished, you can just watch our cat because she's causing mischief behind all our, all our painting. <laughs> she is a bit of a pest when you're painting. <laughs> oh, look, she's watching. Just touching up a bit of shading, just, just while I'm waiting for everyone to catch up. Very goggly eyes, this one, hasn't it? Sally Brewer says she seems to still have quite a lot of yellow on hers. So what do you think? It is still quite yellow, to be fair. I think, um, are you going in with more brown? Am I wrong? Yes, in a minute. But yes, yeah, so don't worry, Sally, we are going to... Or you could just... Put some more red in. Yeah, mush, mush your uh, brown in a bit, yeah. But we, we are going to make a bit more brown and put some definite brown in now. I'm just sort of getting a bit of colour going on because we don't want them all just brown, it would be a bit boring. So we want some other colours merging around, but we, we are going to go in with a bit more brown. And we want a bit of pink in his ears as well. Sorry, I'm just laughing at the cat. OK, 
Okay, are we all ready? Yeah, we've got some thumbs up coming up now. I'm going to make a bit of pink. So move oh, hold white. on. She means that the lines she originally painted are still there, so the yellow kind of outlines. Oh, really? Oh, no, they shouldn't be there, Sally. Do you go over them. Yeah, pop some black around the more... So, like, where this black is around here, you kind of do that, and under the nose and the eyes, and then just kind of blend some browns into it and just blend it right up to the edges. Yeah, right up to the edges. We don't want to see any of the yellow going around it. I've made a bit of pink, I'm going to put it in his ears. And how did you make that shade? Just a little on. bit of white and a tiny bit of red. So just some quite loose, it's just quite a loose stroke, isn't it? That There's no yeah. real sort of a... Just a... Yeah, you're not really doing the inside of his ears, it's just a feel for them, it's nothing. Oh. Bye bye. Now we're going to make a bit more brown. How are we doing that? We're going to make. Hi, Tanith and Freya in Newcastle. Hope your paintings are going well. We're going to make a bit of orange. Can you pop that up to the camera just so we can see it a bit? If you're getting a bit of your yellow... I haven't got any yellow left. I'm going to use my yellow ochre that I made before. I'm going to put a little bit more red in it. If you already have a brown, yes, you have like a burnt, brown burnt already, umber yeah. or something, anything like that, this is the perfect time to use that too. Just if you don't have one, bit get of yellow, it. bit of red, bit of black. Yeah, make orange and then put black in till you get it the colour you want. I'm actually going to use the one that I made earlier. I'm going to darken it a little bit with a bit more black. I've got quite a definite. Brownie colour. Okay, I'm just going to squidge in here and there. Just use your brush. You kind of want to see the brush marks. It's what makes the painting kind of interesting. That You can see like sort of contrasting colours and different brush strokes and none of it's all perfectly blended. I think that's what kind of... Yes, it, it, it takes it in up to more of a... Uh, what style would you say that is? Um, you know, impressionist. When you, yeah, a bit more of an impressionist sort of uh, feeling, which is which is a nice art style and it, make, and it you know it makes your paintings look a bit more uh, sophisticated, doesn't it? Just having kind of loose brush strokes rather than perfect blending. Yes, I'm just sort of splodging it here and there guys, letting some of the other colours show through that we've put in already. I'm going to put a bit of brown in his eyes around here, leaving the yellow ochre on the very outskirts of his eyes. Now you shouldn't be having all the problems I'm having covering up the black because you should have done it in yellow, apart from the people who totally ignored what I was saying and did it in the black. <laughs> so it's your own fault. No time for you. Sorry. Oh. Right, there we are. So I've just splodged a bit of brown on there. We're going to go in with some black detail work in a minute. He's looking more lively now, isn't he? So yeah, you're just splodging the brown on here and there, leaving the brush strokes quite loose, as Amber said. I've left bits of the other colours showing through that we've done. Oh, look, I'm going to go in with my finger. You can just mess on, guys. There's nothing you can do wrong. This is art. An art is just fun and it should be different and mad and fun and bold and, and everything like that, guys. Don't worry about it. Never let your art be tight. That's the worst thing it can be, is tight. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing for time? Guys, if you want to stop, if you're bored, if you're young and you're little, you can stop and come back to it later. If you're an adult, press on. I'm going to get some black and my little brush 
and I'm just going to tidy up some bits here just to make them more um, defined. Yeah, defined and do what I want them to do. I want them to look like a bit of depth in his ears here, like they're wiggling a bit. I'm actually going to put a little bit of black around his ears and places like that. She's super thin though. You don't yeah. want thick lines because that can that'll probably ruin the kind of time you spent making those lovely paint. paint yeah, you marks. don't want outlines all the way around. It's just here and there, and you want to not put any pressure on your brush. Keep it really light. I'm just going to salt his face out a bit here where I've lost it a bit. Super light brush strokes. And I'm just going to make a bit of definition there in his body, so I'm going to have that go like that. Really light, guys, not heavy at all. Now, in here, I'm going to do it all black. Oh, I thought that was his teeth. No. I thought it was his little two front teeth. No, it's not. And I'm going to go round his jowls, or whatever they are. If you've lost his nose, put his nose in. And then I'm going to put tiny little dots here. Can you see that okay on the, ca on the uh, camera? Tiny little dots. Yeah, just his whiskers. For his whiskers. I'm going to stand back and let you catch up with that, guys. Um, I'm talking through what I've done. I've put some little bits of black just for definition here and there on his ears. A little bit round there, a little bit round there on his face. Just to create the shape of his face. A little bit here for, the, for his shoulders. Tiny bit there and there. You don't want to outline him as such in black. So you very light strokes round his jowls. Touch up his nose. You want that to be definite. And those little bits um, in his ears. Sarah Johnson's just asked if you could repeat what you did to the eyes and the brown. Yes. So we've done his eyes initially all with the yellow ochre. So the whole thing was with the yellow ochre. And then I've put some brown on this side of his eyes, inside there. We want like two different colours on his eyes. So can you see this like the darker there and the lighter yellow ochre there. We're going to put a bit of yellow and a bit of white in in a minute, but I'm just going to let you all catch up to where we are, guys. So we've splodged paint on, it's really painterly, this painting. You can see your brush strokes. You can see that you've just got a stroke of colour here and there. You've got your black, just for definition now, very fine. Little bits just to create the shape of his face, his body, his round his gels. And in there, I've just painted it all black. Doesn't matter if it merges in to the shading under there. We're going to sort that out in a minute and with some dots white. on his cheeks for the whiskers. And we've done dots on his cheeks. And then I'm just going to stand here, let you catch up, guys. Let you absorb everything we've done. Pop some thumbs up in when you're ready to go. If you've whizzed ahead, you could add a couple more colours into his fur. Oh, yeah, could guys. Use some more white, some more just yellow. Play just play on. We're going in with a bit more white later anyway, but just play on with him. Make him look the way you want him to look. He is your hair. He's fun. How many people have we got watching, Amber? We've got 62 as of Oh, now. we've lost a few. We've lost a few. Lost a few along the way. Yeah, they've probably gone to bed. I'll let you all catch up, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. Any ideas for the adult painting next week? Some people have said they want to do the ostrich, but oh, I don't know. I'm a bit sick of doing animals, guys. I want to move on. Okay. We're going to put a tiny bit of yellow in his eyes. Pure yellow, not brown, not yellow ochre. And just there on that side, just a bit of yellow. Oh, 
Ooh, here's some ideas. Castle. That is a nice idea. You, yeah. Yeah. Should we do a castle? Sunset Castle. The heritage of Northumberland, eh? We've got princess wearing bunny ears. Oh, no, I'm talking about the adult one, darling. Well, that might be, that might be. No, no, no I'm, not doing a princess, I'm not doing a princess wearing bunny ears. But for the, the uh, childhood one, yeah, we could do that. A princess might be nice, mightn't she? Right, we're going to put the pupils in, guys. You want some black? And the pupils are going to be the shaped like this. Was that, sorry, was that ochre or lemon yellow? It was just a pure yellow, whichever yellow you've got. Pure yellow, just a tiny bit on that side of the eye, just to create a little bit more light. Oh, and then Ryan said a castle and dragon. I think that's what the kids want. That's oh, a good one. Do you know, I think everyone has said that. I think that's what we should do. So what kind of shape are they? Sort of like a seed? I don't know, what, what shape would you say? They're sort of like it's a seed. And... Sunflower seed? Maybe. Or oh, the Gammas have said Annick Gardens. Mm. You could do the Annick Castle, couldn't you? Well, the problem is when we do a castle, when I normally do a castle and when I do it at the uh, proper Tiddly Painters, I have a stencil for it. Because the problem is, if you do a castle that is well known, everyone knows what it should look like. And they're quite hard to do and quite time consuming to get it perfectly right. I tell you what, the gardens will be beautiful at the minute. It's a shame because they're doing the, uh, the, the blossom trees have just come out and they're, oh. you know, down that big hill with all the swings and they have the blossom trees, it's beautiful. Right, get your pupils in your eyes. Oh, he's getting a bit more personality now. His eyes are humongous. What's yeah. happened here? I don't know. I've got, he's got he's, huge I think when you add the white eyes. into his eyes, it'll be okay. I'm really hoping. He just, he think... looks crazy, Mum. Not to, you know, not that's not a bad thing. He's just, he looks intent. You know what this says to me? This says he's been delivering Easter eggs all day. He's been drinking Red Bull to keep awake because he's been doing it for 24 oh. hours and he's on his last... He's on his last, his last legs. legs, yeah. I'm coming round to have a look. Perhaps, you know when they say that if you catch a rabbit in the headlights of a car. Aha, a rabbit in headlights, that's what we've got here. Oh, God. <laughs> in comparison, he just, he looks so tame now, doesn't he? Yes. I like oh, it. He's, he's, no, he's, 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 he's bonkers. I like, I like that. I like that a lot. Right. Stick with it. Keep you black, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to do this. This will help. So you've got your little brush and your black. Ah, oh. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, he's gorgeous. I love him. <laughs> oh, bigger pupils. Suggestion to paint Beamish. I'm pretty sure that's from Finley, that one. I'll oh. hazard a guess. You could do something sort of um, Victorian inspired, something like that, couldn't you? Yes, I could. Right, guys. Wet your brush, dry your brush. We're going to go in with a white. Now we want this quite pure white, so we're going to just stick some highlights in here and there. I'm going to put a bit coming down here. Be interesting to know who uh, has uh, been kind of doing it for how long. Like, is this anyone's first um, first visit to our page, first go at one of our live streams, or has some, anyone done all of them? Guys, okay, so I'm just touching up with white. I'm going under his eyes, round there. I'm going to go in his jowls or cheeks, whatever they are. I'm going to put a bit of white there. So, 
I'm actually going to, I'm still working with my little brush and I'm using it very much how we did before. I'm going in very lightly, I'm hardly any pressure at all. And I'm just picking up some bits and pieces. I'm going to pick up his nose there. <laughs> Paula Martin says her child's given up and she's been left with a demonic hair. Yes, no, this happens. The children do give up. It's, it's a bit too long for the children. But you've got to bear in mind that I've got adults doing this one as well, so... Um, well, if they want to come back to it, it's going to be yes. on the page. Oh, we've got a lot of people who are painting along for the first time. How are you finding it? How's your painting coming out? So just adding highlights everywhere, guys. Yeah, just here and there. Oh, Elizabeth's done all the children's paintings. You should get a picture with all of them together. That'll be fab, that wouldn't it? That'd be fantastic. What's a good thing to do is uh, get some distance from your painting. Have a look, see how it's looking. Now I've got my white brush, my tiny brush. I'm going to just do... Oh, I'm glad everyone's enjoying it for the first time. Harriet Smith says she's um, she's doing art GCSE, so it's... Ah, fab! Good luck to you. <laughs> Being there. It's hard work. Right. I'm just very quickly drawing in some whiskers with white and my little brush. Any technique to these or just, just pretty quick. random? Very quick. You want to get, keep your white quite flowy. So put a bit of water in there. Not so flowy that it'll drip though. Oh, the Gammas have done all the sessions except the Naked Man, fair enough. <laughs> Lucy Appleton says they've done all the sessions since we started. Oh, well done. That's fab, isn't it? I'm really, I'm really pleased. People have been coming back as if everyone just tried it once and never came back. It would. That would be bad. There we are. And everyone will have a really brilliant collection of paintings by the end. Have a little art gallery in your own house. Now I'm keeping with this little brush and I'm going to put some little bits of white. Hold on, I'd hold it just there for a second, I think, as well. People just still catch up with the highlights. I'll come in a bit. So we've got some whiskers. And here we've got little tiny flecks of white just in the, uh, the corners of his eyes. I'll talk you through what I've done in a minute. Once this is all finished and we're allowed out again, <laughs> it'd be nice to see pictures of everyone's collections of all their paintings together that they've done. Yes. So that'd be nice. For this one, I'm thinking Barnaby. Do you know what I mean? It gives me a Barnaby vibe. If anyone's called Barnaby, don't take that as an insult. I just mean. I'm just thinking of names. Bit of hair on him here and there. With the black, is that? Yeah, just black and my little brush that I.
Joan Hudson says hers looks a bit like a deer. Oh, I like a deer. Harriet Smith says hers looks like she's had a bit too many sunflower seeds. <laughs> yes, a bit like mine then. How's everyone doing? Are people caught up with the highlights? Pop some thumbs up in, we're nearly there now. So at the end of this, just so everyone knows, I'll pop a post on uh, with a picture of this finished product and you can all put your um, pictures in the comments on there. It's easier than sending them via message or anywhere else because it all gets a bit lost. We get so many different uh, messages on all different platforms. So if we pop them all in the, uh, the comments of the, the next post, uh, and I'm also going to put a little link to the uh, the, don the donations page. Oh yeah, so guys, that would be really kind. It's just that this if is anyone's, how yeah, if anyone's had a good live. time and you know it's just like a little it's a little thank you sort of thing. So be greatly appreciated, but not necessary as well. Okay, yeah, don't worry, guys. If you haven't got any money and if you're finding it tough at the moment as we are, don't worry. I would do it anyway because I'm really enjoying it. Okay, are we all ready? Yeah, I think so. Little brush. White, and I'm just gonna go like this. Both eyes. That's what sort of brings them to life a bit, isn't it? A bit too much life though. If your eyes are a bit wet, you can obviously add this touch later on. Just a little bit of white in the eyes. You want two dots in each eye. Oh, I love him. Do you? Yeah. Let's have a look from a distance, guys. From a distance. Yeah, step back from your painting is always good at the end. If there's anything oh, I do love him. What should we call him? Barnaby. Oh, no, he's... Oh, guys, yes, Barnaby. Think of some names. Busby! Yes, he's Busby. Definitely, he's called Busby. I'm signing it, Busby. When you uh, post your pictures in the comments, let us know what you've chosen to name yours as well. That's a, bit, that's a fun little extra. There you are. Sign them, guys. And let me know if you've enjoyed today. I have. So just, we'll leave I've really, Actually, I've really enjoyed. Guys, I've really enjoyed today. Thank you very much for joining in with me. I love painting and i like having you all do it with me it makes it much more fun um come back next week we're doing another um parent and child one on tuesday and we're doing an adult one on thursday or friday night we haven't quite decided yet probably friday i yeah, think keep an eye on the page we'll pop some updates on yeah. and um what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave this camera up now for anyone who is a bit behind needs to catch up on anything yeah. i'll leave that on for five minutes take it down and then after that a post will be going up so hold off before you put any of your pictures anywhere and i'll pop a post on you can we can have a look at everyone's all together because that's quite nice isn't it so yeah guys listen thanks ever so much thanks for joining in and uh, see you soon bye <laughs>